day folks this is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm we're doing our bull mob today cattle drive and uh, we got about 60 of them here on the road they're coming up behind me and uh, we've got the uh, lane this is actually my driveway going up my driveway we put a wire on each side and uh, Oh, there's a three-story log cabin that I built many, many years ago. That was in 1978. That was a uh, log cabin that I built out of uh, White Oak that was here on the farm. I got an old sawmill that was run by a tractor. It had a big old belt on it. And uh, I sawed that out. Three stories. Each uh, story's got... Uh, 600 square feet on so it's 1800 square feet and there's my earth shelter that's a cellar that I built on the front in front of the house that's where we stored our vegetables and apples and taters Woo! come on boys anyway I sold that and built a new house back behind it many years ago come on boys Woo! Those of y'all that have uh, motion sickness, I'm sorry, but I'm on a phone. You know? You're going to get a little motion. The bulls, uh, the bull, the bull drive is actually a piece of cake compared to the cows. Right now, I think we've, we're up to uh, in one week we've had 47 new calves. So our herd has really grown in the matter of seven days. They're really cranking them out. We had 12, 12 calves, I think, yesterday, one day. But uh, anyway, the bulls are coming down the driveway here. There's our baling rollers. <laughs> and we just passed our apple cider vinegar back here. We just have a, a wire in here uh, keeping them off the, the interns vehicles Isaac and Ben and, and uh, Connor back over there is Jan's new greenhouse Help her out there. so we're gonna stage the bulls right here on this uh, half acre plot this has had uh, about 30 days rest it's ready to go and uh, we're going to leave them here on this for about 20-30 oh, minutes until we get our uh, all the wires taken up on the road Woo! <laughs> neighbor's dogs he's got a little mutt over there he's right in the bushes barking at those bulls I think they'll come on around that corner though I probably should have slowed down Woo! come on bull come around that corner one comes they all come but uh, it rained and that's why I fenced the driveway off on each side they're coming up that hill uh, they would walk in that dirt or you know the, the wet soil there and they would really make a mess pretty pretty good sized animals some of them they're over a thousand pounds <clears throat> there's a bunch of young ones in there that are probably I don't know they're just barely uh, there's some in there seven eight months old they'd put you know they'd be like 500 pound wean calves kind of thing but then there's some there's some 12 14 16 18 month old bulls in there that are gonna weigh you know seven eight hundred pounds They were fighting out in the road with each other. When I say fighting, they were playing. They, were, they had their heads locked up and they were pushing around on each other. And that's just what bulls do. You know, they're, they're men and some of these are teenagers. They kind of like sparring a little bit. But anytime I run a poly across a gravel road, see what I did there? If you don't put a colored post in there at an X shape like that, like a teepee, uh, they could walk through that 
And if they walk through that, then there's some place where I don't want them. But here's our lane right there. So we're going to run them from here uh, two miles further, going north. Uh, we've got Jan's farm set up on the far end. We're going to go through all of Judy farm, not graze anything. We're going to shoot them clear to the end. And then we're going to just tip graze all the way back. These poles are like, what's going on? <laughs> I'll walk down in the paddock. To... Go on, boys. Woo! It's pretty good pasture here. There's a uh, just pretty pretty good grass in here. The the bulls are going to be happy. We're only going to have them in here about 30 minutes. And they're already starting to graze a little bit. I need to show you this chunk of meat here. He's uh he's about 47 inches tall at the ass, but he's just thick. I mean he's. Just a super efficient type built bull. The rest of these are, you know, there's a weanling. He's just got weaned. There's a little older bull there. They all look pretty rough right now. Man, their hair coats are kind of shedding. And they all got that woolly hair from the winter still on them. A lot of them do. I can't wait for about three more weeks. Get some sun. It's cold out here. Frosted last night. 26, 27 degrees. Snowed yesterday. Hey, 31, how you doing? <laughs> the bulls are... Like, they're just kind of standing around. Like, Are we going to go some more? Yes, you're going to go some more, but we got to take up that lane along the road we just made. We still got... Uh, Probably almost two miles of poly wire out there. <laughs> See, they're just playing. I tell you, uh, I've seen some bulls get with it. But... That's what bull do. <laughs> yes, I know you're a bull. <laughs> Eight thirty-three. You're kind of the man. But there's a uh, Isaac's bringing the wire back around, so we're going to be able to lock him in here. And then they can just uh, go to grazing for a little while while we get our, our lane taken up. So we, we like to stage them. So we get this is called the staging area. We got right at 60 bulls in here, and they're staged for about 35, 40 minutes. There's a little guy. He just got taken. He's only barely seven months old. He's thick. Give him another year. That's when we'll be marketed in 2022. He'll make a decent, decent animal. So anyway, that's the that's the bulls, and uh, we're gonna be uh, signing out of here. Y'all new to the channel? Hit that subscribe button on the way out. And we still got another big long bull drive to do this morning. Y'all take care.